In this video, I'll show you how we can backup VM in one particular node and then how we can restore it on another node of different cluster. For example, in my case, I'm upgrading my hardware of my home lab, which I have already shown you. There are multiple methods which I can use to backup and restore. One is, of course, I can create a complete image of the Proxmox virtual environment, including all its VMs and containers. And I can restore that image to a new server with the image restore tool. If your all VMs are not critical, you only want to migrate the critical VMs. We will ensure the minimal downtime so we'll be going here to the proxmox virtual environment this is my existing proxmox virtual environment and this is the new one i'll just show you in a new tab here you can see in the pve there is no vm right now available I have only the local storage, which is local PVE and local PVE LVM. And under is TrueNAS, which is the shared storage. And in TrueNAS, there is nothing available right now. No VM, no VZ terms, no snippets, but we'll be having the backups over here. And this backup will be shared across all the Proxmox virtual environment, wherever this storage is being used as shared storage. You can see here that the same TrueNAS, if I see the summary here, a 1.25 TB is the total available on the new server, which I have configured as a Proxmox virtual environment. And this is the existing one where the Proxmox virtual environment is configured. Here also, I have the same shared storage TrueNAS available in all the nodes. You can see here 1.25 TB. And if I see the backup, nothing is available here. So I want to do the backup of one of the virtual machines. For example, this is the PFSense. And PFSense is right now working on existing Proxmox virtual environment, which is 8.1.3. And here is 8.2.2. This is the new version and newly installed just now. I have installed it. I want to take the backup of this PFSense and then I'll be restoring this on this new node. So how we'll do that? I'll go back here to the existing Proxmox virtual environment, which is in the cluster environment. But here in the PVE first node, I want to make the backup of PFSense. And how we can do, there are multiple methods. One is that you will click on that VM and on the VM, you can see these are multiple options here. And one of the options which is available is the backup. If I click on backup, there is no backup available right now. And default storage, it has chosen G drive, which is Google drive. But I'm not, of course, going to do the backup on Google drive because it is going to be very time consuming. But as I'm on my network, so I can do the backup on the TrueNAS. You might be having Proxmox backup server. This is right now disconnected. I'm not going to use this right now, but you can, of course, use local backup, but local backup will not give you any uh, disaster recovery if the local system fails so your entire backups will be destroyed i'll be doing the backup on the true nas and the moment i click on true nas i'll simply click on backup and it will load the backup configuration of vm 100 which is pfsense the name of the file will be automatically created so it will be cluster a guest name node name and vm id and here is the mode default mode is snapshot suspended means that vm will suspend for the time being until the backup is taken and it will stop once the the backup is taken otherwise i'll do the snapshot which means that it will keep running it will not stop if i go to snapshots here are the snapshots you can see this is now you can create a new snapshot also in case you want otherwise you can simply go back here to the backup click on backup now and use the default options here and storage will be of course not g drive it will be true nas make sure that you choose the correct storage and backup now it will take time depending upon the network bandwidth depending upon the performance of your system but it will definitely compress and after compression the size will reduce depending upon what has been stored the moment it is completed i'll come back to you backup has been completed successfully so backup job finished and notification has been sent via email so that's fine if i go back here to backup now and if you see here in the true nas the backup is ready here and if i go here to proxmox virtual environment inside true nas backup if i refresh this in the new server you can see here that the backup is available inside true nas the backup is ready on this particular Proxmox virtual environment, this node doesn't have any VM right now. Suppose your existing server has crashed and you want to now restore from the backup, you can create the VM again with its all configuration, with its all data and so on. So it was backed up at this stage, depending upon how frequent you are doing the backup, we'll be just restoring. It will automatically create a new VM with the same name, but with a different ID. So I'll show you that if you go into the PVE and TrueNAS, wherever shared storage is 
configured you can of course see all these different options our backups are stored in the backup and if i click on the backup which you want to restore i'll just simply click this and click on restore you can also see the configuration if i just click on show configuration it will show me all the configuration what was the name of the vm what was the ram which was used how many cores of cpus has to be used and so on this will be having the network settings also and depending upon what type of settings are available in your new proxmox virtual environment for example in my existing one uh, we have two network bridges here vmbr0 vmbr1 and there were two physical network cards also but in the new one i have only one uh, network adapter and one vmbr so i'll be going back here to trunas now i'll click on backup i'll click on the backup which i want to restore and i'll click on restore here you can make the changes for example vm id is 100 do you want to keep the same vm id it's fine i'll be using the same vm id in case you want to make the changes to the configuration you can do that as well once it has been restored so we'll be simply clicking on restore it will again take time depending upon the network bandwidth and you can see here here it shows 3.07 gb was the backup size if you see here in the proxmox 100 pf sense which was there and if you see hardware this size is 16 gb so 16 gb was the disk size but uh, once it is backed up it was 3.07 gb so we'll be waiting for this it has 11 percent completed or as you can see here that the vm has been restored and the volume has also been rescanned and right now if i go here pf sense is ready with all the configuration that we had done there the same has been added here even the tags which were added here the same tags are added here this is totally independent new proxmox virtual environment these are the new systems that i'm installing already and i have already shown you what kind of hardware is this now the vm has been installed and here you can see even the disk hard disk where this disk is it is default disk local lvm and right now in fact in local lvm the storage is available that's why i'm using local lvm here and in this local lvm still we have the storage available so we can now restart this also and in order to restart of course we need to uh, make sure that the hardware setting is same and as already this uh, vm is running right now so i'm not going to make any disturbance here but the moment we'll be disconnecting the existing proxmox virtual environment then we'll be uh, starting the new proxmox virtual environment with the new configuration in next video i'll show you how we can do the backup of alexi container and how we can then restore the alexi container in the proxmox virtual environment let us continue to the next video